Hello, uh, my name is Dan. We are here to talk about what is in a first aid kit and my, why you might want to check uh, what's in your first aid kit if you haven't used it in a while. So today we're going to just chat a couple minutes about what is in our first aid kits um, and we're basically going to be talking about what you would find in a kit that's about this size. So as you can see this first aid kit's a little bit bigger than my hand, uh, maybe two or three inches wide. Um, and a lot of this stuff um, can fit in a kit like that. So a first aid kit, you want to have it be small enough that you want to carry it, but big enough that it has what you need if you actually get injured. Uh, so kind of the first things you would want to check in your first aid kit to see if they're there. Uh, and sometimes it comes in little bags. Um, but the first thing you're going to want to check on is that there are a pair of uh, medical kind of exam gloves in there. If you're doing treatment on somebody, uh, and it's you know somebody else's warm wet and sticky stuff you don't want to be touching it so make sure that your gloves are in there and that pull them out and kind of see if they still have their stretch in them you don't want to pull out a pair of gloves and then have them kind of disintegrate so make sure those are good uh, kind of your minor injury stuff would be um, some antiseptic wipes so some wipes you know moist towelette some people have alcohol swabs those sort of things but something that you can do a little bit of cleaning with. Um, a bandana is really nice to have in a first aid kit um, because I can get this wet. Uh, most people that hike have water bottles so or just any activity somewhere you're going to be able to get water. Uh, you can wet a bandana and then that can help clean a wound you know if you have an abrasion or a cut or something like that this is really helpful. Once that's clean kind of check in from gloves so you put your gloves on you cleaned it uh, and with some soap and water, maybe a moist towelette, uh, and then maybe looking for a band-aid. So we have some gauze here, maybe gauze and tape solves the problem. Uh, maybe some first aid, some basic band-aid stuff is helpful. Uh, we've all seen band-aids that have been sitting in a cupboard for a long time. Um, so again, check the band-aids, like sacrifice one to pull it apart and see if it's still sticky, see if it's still sealed. Uh, you want that band-aid to be nice and clean and not like same thing kind of this crumbly mess when you go to get it uh, especially if it doesn't stay stuck right a band-aid needs to stay on for it to work uh, to protect that wound um, so that's something you would want to have there um, if you have bigger injuries um, bigger pieces of gauze or gauze roll and tape so here's some different thicknesses of gauze there's a little short one that one's a little bit wider and then once you were to wrap something, if you had a bigger scrape or abrasion or a burn, uh, you might want to be then taping it, wrapping it with gauze, and then use some tape so that the gauze doesn't come off. Kind of creating a bigger band-aid is really what you're doing if you have gauze and uh, some tape. So um, your other things would be kind of medical emergencies. Some people like to carry Benadryl uh, because Benadryl can be, you know, something that they need if someone is having an anaphylactic reaction, if they're allergic to something, uh, you know, maybe it's bees or peanut butter, uh, some of the more common ones. That Benadryl is really going to kind of give them the window before 911 were to show up. Uh, and sometimes Ashley's looking at some other things. These are some different field guides. Not that you would want to look at these, you know, providing care, but, you know, after a while you could look and be like, oh, did I do the right thing? Or how do I tape an ankle? A little bit earlier, which is why you don't see an ace bandage here. I wrapped my ankle because I had sprained my ankle. Uh, so you're going to want to have some carry an ace bandage with you. Uh, and I kept my sock on, but an ace bandage is good. If you have a stable lower leg injury, that's something that you would want to have with you. Uh, and then other kind of big stuff in a first aid kit, um, you know, trauma scissors, you know, that sort of thing. If you know, you have a major injury, sometimes you need to expose what's going on before you can get there. Um, this is a CPR mask. Again, it's something that we hope always stays in a first aid kit and you never need it. Um, but those are some common things that are good for having in a first aid kit. I do not like to carry big scissors like this because I'm not coming across major trauma most of the time. Most of the time I need to cut bandages. Um, so a little pair of scissors like this is really helpful. So. I encourage you guys to go through a first aid kit if you have one and make sure it's got some of those critical items and that they're okay. Uh, they still have their stickiness, they're still sealed, that sort of thing, they're not expired. Um, and then if you don't have a first aid kit, I encourage you to go get that quart size plastic bag, put some bandages in there, get some medical tape, 
uh, get some scissors, maybe some little tweezers to get out splinters or something, and really carry that with you so that you're prepared uh, when you're out hiking, biking, kayaking, canoeing, uh, or whatever it is. So thanks for joining us, and I hope you guys enjoyed it.